Hello my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So guys, just want to give you an update and look at a couple of just curious and interesting things. So we see a tweet from President Donald Trump. His tweet is, all is well. Missiles launched from Iran at two military bases located in Iraq. Assessment of casualties and damages taking place now. So far, so good. We have the most powerful and well-equipped equipped military anywhere in the world by far i will be making a statement tomorrow morning <clears throat> so there was a lot of thought that he would be addressing the nation tonight and uh kind of surprising perhaps to many that he's not addressing tonight and uh you know for me right off the bat what i think is because there's a strike that hasn't taken place yet and he's not going to address the nation until they've struck back. Uh, that is what I feel. And I, th I believe it's probably getting close to dawn there now. And usually it's preferable, most definitely, to attack uh, at night, under the cover of night. But I wouldn't be surprised if the attacks can be cruise missiles. And that would be um, probably something that they would do as they've done in the past so many times and perhaps this might be you know a multiple stage retaliation as well with the first round being cruise missiles in even broad daylight we've seen what they can do uh, and how you can't even really see them coming uh, remember also there's a lot of drones that are at uh, the disposal as well so here you see the Iraq Minister of Telecommunications saying, get the hell out of our region, exclamation point, hashtag hard revenge. And here we see that Iran is saying that if there is no retaliation from America for these latest attacks, then they will stop attacking. But if America attacks, then their response will be crushing and widespread. And over here we see in its Telegram channel, the Iranian Revolutionary Guard says that the Pentagon reports that the U.S. will respond to Iran's attacks. The IRGC then says in a footnote, this time we will respond to you in America. And, you know, it's curious, too, that we were talking and we did a video on the whole drone situation going on. Uh, as well and you know that's just a very very curious situation going on it keeps expanding it is expanding and expanding and expanding and you know as we had said before there was talk of sleeper cells and the like so we'll see we'll see where this is going to go and this is the bombing So that's what it looked like. So check this out, guys. You want to talk about signs? Look at that. This is the Persian Gulf. So this is right next to Iran. And there was an eclipse on December 26th. And look at that blood red moon. Now, some say this looks like devil horns there. And then as it goes, it looks like the crescent of Islam. Uh, blood red, you know, talking about a sign, as we had talked about Nostradamus's prophecies, and he saw an Islamic invasion of Europe, and he saw France and Italy and many other countries overran and, and destroyed pretty much uh, in his quatrains, those that follow that. And we were talking about the Hopi prophecy on the live show, and the fact that the Hopi prophecy says that uh, the U.S. will be attacked and destroyed uh, by those countries that brought the earliest knowledge to the world. The older countries, you know, meaning uh, China and perhaps India and perhaps some of the Middle East as well. And so we have powerful astrological cycles in the Saturn-Pluto conjunction. Uh, and so this is, you know, a lot of people are catching on to this. And uh, here we'll digress to Cindy, who is our resident astrologer.
Mm, yeah, you know, I think the Western and Eastern are similar. They both have alignments. So it doesn't really matter what you follow Western or Vedic. Um, the, all the alignments show that, that things are going to be inflamed. Like uh, inflammation is the vocabulary word for the year. So if you can fight inflammation at any level of your body, you want to do that. And we, of course, now look, we have the war and it's getting inflamed. And yeah, so things are astrologically speaking, you know, kind of screwed up. And very interestingly enough, uh, there are so many parallels between now and 1913, right before uh, the beginning of the First World War. And as I had said, I had done an interview at DAP 2030, David Dubine, uh, Sunday night. And he was talking about the similarities in the sun cycle uh, between now and 1913. And we had some of the record highest temperatures. We had some of the craziest weather, uh, dust bowl conditions, crop losses, uh, extreme conditions. And so from that point of view, it's like right before World War I. And astrologically, the conditions are there just like right before World War I began. And coincidentally enough, Gene Dixon, if you guys don't remember Gene Dixon, that was the Reagan's personal astrologer. And she had wrote many books and done many prophecies. Some had hit and some uh, didn't hit. <laughs> you know, every, it, she was not 100%. But one of the things she said was that the Battle of Armageddon was going to happen in 2020. And so she pegged this year as the Battle of Armageddon, probably because she understood the astrological signs. Yeah, she knew the influence of the planets and the influences of certain transits. And like I said, we have a, a frequency of kind of like inner anger right now. And I think that they've done this for years. They've used the planets as an influence or momentum to um, like push their agenda. Yeah, exactly. They do follow that. And this is just an article that was saying, we're going to war, bro. Fort Bragg's 82nd Airborne deploys to the Middle East. Uh, and we're going to wait and see what happens as far as the response. Again, on the live, we were talking about a lot of people checking in from various areas, saying an awful lot of plane traffic, uh, you know, reports from, from this area, from, from uh, the military facilities in North Carolina, as well as from Texas and other areas as well abroad, the UAE uh, as well. There's a lot of activity going on. And, you know, we will see what the response is from President Trump, but we will have to wait till the morning to hear him talk, most likely. At least that's what his last tweet said. And again, in my opinion, I would be really surprised if there's absolutely no response until he talks. And, you know, they could wait a whole day and then, you know, strike at night, which militarily is always the best option. Um, but, you know, is, are, are there going to be cooler heads? Will there be no retaliation? I think almost everybody thinks there's going to be re re retaliation. I mean, wouldn't you expect it? I would absolutely expect it. If it was quiet, I would be scared. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I think things are probably underway. Plans are underway. And uh, he just wants to give an update in the morning after the pendulum has swung back to the other side so he could talk more about what was done in retaliation as opposed to the losses that were suffered. And, uh, you know, it, there definitely was losses. I, I mean, I heard some sources quoting 136 people. Uh, he's saying everything's fine. Uh, you know, they're assessing things right now, but so far so good. Uh, so that's a very different uh, scenario than what we got from some sources. But again, absolutely nothing has been confirmed as far as casualties and we will have to wait and see. So my friends, let's pray for peace. Let's pray for calmer heads to prevail. And let's see if we can overrule these prophecies and uh, the planets, the stars, you know. Let's see if we can mitigate them and manifest a positive outcome. Thank you guys so much for your support as always. God bless and namaste.